So there we go. There we go. <laughs> hey, welcome to our part two of our ongoing playthrough of uh, Shadowgate. With me, as always, is Captain. Say hello to YouTube, Captain, for our second episode. Now remember, uh, the second episode, precisely. If now remember if you our last the first episode, uh, episode. Yeah, no, you go first. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we we opened some doors. We already kissed the werewolf. And we set some rugs on. <laughs> yeah, we did. Set the, we set the rugs on fire. That is true. Now it's very important that you catch the first episode, or none of this will make sense. So how do we open this door? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember how to open uh, this secret door. I don't remember how to open the door, and I don't remember how to activate the stupid fucking rule. Well, no, the, the, the rope you you activate as you feel the ground shake as the rocks move slowly aside to reveal a passageway. Oh, you just opened the door. Oh, that's retarded. No, it's not. It's like, hey, how do I open this door? Um, You just open, open the door. Open it. <laughs> the cold water from the limestone drips on your neck, sending shivers down your spine. We'll move out of the way, asshat. Okay, I believe this is the only way out. Let me look at some stuff, because now we're in unfamiliar territory to me, right? Uh, it's a concave I polygon. I the Staff of Ages goes into that, right? I don't, oh, shit, I don't remember. I don't remember. I think this, I think the orb, or an orb goes there. It seems to have been carefully carved into the stone. It's a stone wall. I think, okay, I think we're at an end here. So, I can't climb up whatever the fuck this is. So, we go back again. Yes, we do. Alright, man. Let's save, because we are totally going to drink the feather potion. And cross this snake bridge. Uh, smells terrible. That's not the stuff. Uh, Lustrous Shine. Notice that the bottle is impossibly light. Okay, this is the one. Drink it! Put it in your mouth and savor it. Drink, motherfucker, it's on the house. <laughs> Alright, now we can cross the snake bridge. And, oh, there's, I didn't actually see that. It, there's a snake in here. But it's not a real snake, it's a, it's a snake statue, right? It's a giant snake, it doesn't move, perhaps it's getting ready to strike! You wait for the creature to kill you, but it still hasn't moved. Upon closer inspections, you laugh at your foolishness. It's only a statue! Ho ho ho! Take it. It's too heavy to lift. Uh, use it. I don't even remember, man. Hit it. I don't remember what we're supposed to do. Oh, I think we're supposed to use e pour on this. Maybe? No. Oh, come on. It's a coil of something that resembles a rope. Of course, I don't have e pour. I, I guess we leave. I, I don't think we have anything. Well, if we leave. Oh my god, you're right. The, uh... Well, it, that sounds like that sounds to me like it's time to say. Well, no, let's. How do you get Epor? I don't know. I don't remember. We're going by memory here, so let's see if you're right. Suddenly, you feel heavier than you did a moment. Yeah, we are soft locked. <laughs> um. Well, now we have to uh, reload the game. We got to reload the game, right? All right, I believe it's Control R. There we go. <laughs> Okay. We still have bottle two, which is the light and the light bottle, so let's back up. And we never went through this other hallway. So I guess we're going through that now. It's a good thing we got permission from all those gnomes last episode. 
Uh, let's see. <laughs> How long are we gonna drag that up? Some of these walls were probably cut by the hands of enslaved mountain dwarves. Well, fuck, man, that's racist. Super racist. I don't know which which way you want to go, Captain. Um, you know we can roll some dice. Let's let's go forward first. <laughs> I I still think we should we should go f forward. It is. Figure out the. <laughs> uh, this is a long, cold, ha cold hallway that's lined with either sides with half a dozen coffins. I mean, obviously that one's a door. Uh, a right. couple of these are trapped, and I don't remember which. I mean, we right, saw yeah. this one loaded, <laughs> <laughs> but it's again. <laughs> Uh, cold marble coffin sealed with an ancient deathbed. This is a silver lid. This door is open. Open. Cold stone coffin. Uh, this one's made of solid gold. Must be worth a fortune. Uh, standing sarcophagus is sealed with dragon scale cover. I don't remember which one's which. Gold is bad, I think. Yeah, I think so, too. I think it's slime, and it eats you when when you open it. I mean, we'll find out. I mean, totally safe. And, we, you know, we'll, we'll get them one by one. Cause yeah, we saved earlier. These... Fuck it. <clears throat> oh, well, congratulations. Oh, hey! We're, we're alive. It's a leather pouch. Actually, let's just open it right here. Bag two is Bag open. Two. It's got cop coins. I don't remember what those are for. Pay him the fairy man. No, those were special coins with the with a skull on them. That I remember. Eh, let's take them. I have a cop coin in hand. I've got another cop coin in hand. And I got another cop coin in hand. There we go. Now we don't need the bag. Uh, now we save. <laughs> okay, I got a plan. I know it's dumb. Let's exit the room and re-enter. And now we can open another cast one. How about this stone one? Good luck. Nothing happened. Okay, I guess I can't open it. The dragon scale one. There we go, that one's open. There's a mummy. Stands silently before you. Well, I mean, maybe, uh, I think, uh, I think I gotta set him on fire, because he's made of... I think of... you gotta set him on fire. Yeah, we, this, this will also give us some extra light. He burst into flame, looming behind a scepter among the ashes. Oh, there we go, that was easy. There it is. I didn't spell it, spare us the rod. This jewel set of scepter is truly made for a king. Hey, I'm a king! God, this music. Yeah, it's starting to... Yeah, let's go ahead and... Go ahead and use the next torch. <laughs> Alright. Do I want to push my luck and open the other two or just leave? Uh, um... Man, I don't recall anything. I seem to remember one other. of them being a trap. I just can't remember which one. Eh, fuck it. Let's just move on to the next no. room. No, what? Uh, what? No, no. Just, uh, I'll leave it. What? No, talk! You, you motherfucker, you're playing too. <laughs> I was just gonna say save scum and open them. <laughs> I mean, that would be cheating, right? No. With this game, no. Because uh, you're, you're meant to die over and over. Screenshots, movie, wave, tools. I'm looking for quick save and quick load. 
like save states. And I don't I don't see any. Oh, oh no, there. I There we go. No, P and I. I. Just, just do the regular save. What? No, man. If I'm going to that's 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 time. So I to save and P to load. Okay. Cool. Uh, let's break a mirror first. That's good luck. <laughs> hey, I found the broom. <laughs> Take a torch. Take a torch. Take a broom. Oh, looks like we got some, uh, <clears throat> some guy is trying to post a link. He's supposed to buy me drinks first. Uh, you can put, now that you have safe states, you can play M Mario ROM hacks. I don't know, Doom Lad, that sounds an awful lot like mods. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, I, f I found, I found the, this room again. You jumped down the hole and after a couple of moments hit the floor. It took a couple of moments. Seems that you have broken both your legs. It's only a matter of time before you die. Whoop, well, that's what we have save states for. It is a sad thing that your adventure stop here. Alright, alright, let's... Back up. Let's try this one. Uh, ancient deathbed. Let's open that motherfucker. The lid is open. Oh. Huh. As you <laughs> open the tomb, a banshee flies out and emits an ear-shattering scream. You're alright, but it's very hard to hear. Wh what? 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 Open this. <laughs> I thought it jumped out and killed. Oh, there's the slime. Yeah, I found the slime. <laughs> the lid of the coffin is open. This green slime is quite disgusting. Uh, the green slime is very thick and warm to the touch. Why are you touching it? Take it. You can't take it. Hit it. You try to pass the slime, but it engulfs your body, dissolving it in seconds. Oh, there we go. There's the... There you die instantly. No pain, no yeah. nothing. You were slimed. <laughs> that was the slime. Very bad. Hey, this guy was touching it, so... Alright. I... I honestly don't know what the deal with the Banshee is. And I think we need a hammer to smash the mirrors, right? Uh, yeah, because I can't just... Let's, can I use the scepter on it? Um, also, I have a broom. Wh okay, I can't read this. Can you read this, Captain? This broom looks remarkably like the... The one owned by the Sirens of the Isle of Yeklum. Yeklum Irrit. Yeklum Irrit. So we've established that this guy <clears throat> has been to Yeklum Irrit and talked to the Sirens. And that they sweep. Right? That's what I'm getting from that, right? More or less. Oh, I remember this room. Fuck. I do too. <laughs> you begin to shiver as this room is really cold. No, it's not. It's the next one. Also, hey, I see torches. You better grab them. Yeah, I think I should. I can't take the wall. Challenge accepted. Okay, a large pedestal with an iron trim and a small trap door made of polished metal. Finely crafted wooden door. Okay, if memory serves right, the trap door is just that. It's a trap. 
you can't you can't do anything with it. The door is open, and if memory serves right, there is nothing but fire and brimstone beyond this, so let's save first. <laughs> oh man. Okay, okay. Take the shield first. You raise your shield just in time to block the dragon's flame. All right, now take the spear. Again, the flame spew forth with your shield. Use your shield for protection. It's getting hot. You don't know how much longer you can stand it. I believe we can take one more thing. We can either do the torch or the, or the axe. I'm going to go for the axe. Or, actually, I can't remember. Maybe if you back off, your shield will freeze. And you can take... Uh don't recall. Don't try to use logic on this game. All right, yeah, you know, you're right. Let me try and let me take the axe. The hammer is in hand. That's good. That's what I need. Again, flames spew forth. You could use your you use your shield for protection. It's getting hot. You don't have much longer. You can stand it. Well, I don't think we need to do anything else. I think we got the two things that we needed. I just remember that the shield is the very first thing you take. You know what? Fuck it. Let's press our luck. Let's get this torch. Uh, you don't know how much longer you can handle it? Uh, let's see. What if I look at this helmet? Uh, helmet of Kamala Hobgoblins. Here's a chest. Extremely heavy iron chest. It's securely locked. Uh, here's a bone that's been picked clean. Here's a skull. Uh, it's cracked from extreme heat. I don't think we need any of this. Okay. I'm hoping that I'm right. I'm going to leave. I think we got the three things that we need. I... Maybe. Maybe. I don't remember. I don't remember either, man. <laughs> Okay, that one, that side was fire, this side is ice. So what we need is we need the, um, the ice orb. The, the orb. Orb! We gotta bother and looking at the that light. orb comes from that, in that cold room, from that chest. I just don't remember how. Yeah, me either. Water cascades over the subterranean cliff into a cool, clean stream. I like this stream. It's cool and clean. We you need the stones. Go behind. Yeah, we gotta go behind, but I need these stones. I need at least, like, maybe two? Yeah, we'll try two for now. Can't go up there. The way it's blocked by a landslide, even with your might, you could not clear it. Clear yourself a path, pardon me. Uh, the walls in this room are too close for comfort. The damp walls, I thought this said dam, of this eerie cavern are rough and irregular. For her pleasure. <laughs> I think you have to punch the, uh, the rock. I think so. I remember punching the rock too, and we get a pow out of Matapia. You hit the rock as hard as you can! Pow! Uh, hinges of the wall. Hey, there we go. Let's open that up. Bag one is open. It contains three large jewels a blue gem, a red gem, and a white gem. Yeah, bags are trouble. I'm just going to take them straight and put them in my infinite, uh, my infinite bullshit pockets. All right, let's take a look at these. Uh, it's a dark blue gemstone that is as big as the pommel of a sword. This one's a fine red ruby. 
Its color rem reminds you of your adventure across the Sea of Blood. Gross. <laughs> it's a white stone of unknown origin, a fine thing you can gamble away in a good card game. Yeah. I don't remember what any of this does. Okay, so we gotta figure out this puzzle now. One of those stones goes... Yeah, and I don't remember which one. Blue, maybe? Try the blue chip. Yeah, okay. We'll do blue. Nothing happened. Eh. Red? Nope. White? Nothing happened. Huh. Oh! Oh! There's a little hole right here! Right there. Uh, Jim seems to fit, but nothing happened. Okay. Let's use the red then. Uh, that seemed to fit, but nothing happened. Okay, we'll try the white. Ah, uh, there we go. We found it eventually. Small crystal sphere magically appears on the stand. There it is. Yeah, but I gotta use a torch, or we, we die. All right. God, yeah, I know that fucking music. <laughs> Spheres in hand. Oh, what the hell? Let's go down the the trap door and die. It's a good way to celebrate. You have to open it before you go through it. Well, it just so happens that I have that power. See, it looks like it's safe, and then you actually go down there. The broken fragment of a wooden ladder hangs from the opening. As you go down the trap door, you realize you took a big step. The fall is quite fatal. Yay! It's here for safe states. <laughs> okay. So, we look at the sphere. So far, all these puzzles have been, like, fairly... Like, uh... Within a couple of rooms, the keys are. Like, maybe two or three rooms away, the key is. And eventually, it'll get to the point where they, you have to backtrack, like, the entire castle. Just to get the proper thing that you need. Uh, it's cold as ice. It's willing to sacrifice our love. You went there for I could. <laughs> <laughs> I had a plan. What are you going to use this time? There we go. You drop the sphere into the lake and notice that the ripples disappear as the wa water turns to ice. Take that. Fuck you, shark. Key three is in hand. Let's take a look at that key. Maybe we'll get a clue as to what it's used for. Small brass key. Good talk. Uh, all of that, I believe... There we go. I think we need, like, cotton or some shit. Can you use the hammer to get the sphere back? Oh my god! Oh my god, I forgot to get the sphere back! <laughs> Actually, you know what? Just... Save scum. Oh. Fuck. Hey, untrusted! Nearly two years! What, really? Holy shit, 23 months! Ah, oh, goddammit. Well, I... On the plus side, we get to fuck the shark again. That's why everybody likes Gargura. There we go. <laughs> you like that? Was... Okay, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to use the torch on the sphere. Directly on the sphere. And it melts it enough so that it floats to the top. Why did I give you so much money? Because you love me. Uh, 
Mm. Oh, no. Uh, I, uh... I didn't think that through. Hmm. Hmm, yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Okay, there we go. Now take the key. Now, let's light another torch, and then use this first torch on the sphere. The sphere has put out the flame. What? Like, I can't take it, right? It's under the ice. You can't take it. Yeah, I know. Can you use the hammer? Maybe I use the torches on the lake. You put the burning torch close to it. Yeah, that was it. The torch melts away the ice over the sphere, allowing it to float to the surface. Not surprising the lake quickly refreezes. Okay, now I can take the sphere. Worked out for an hour and I should probably shower and shave, but I can't do that when your stream is done. I've missed too many. You'd be surprised how few streams you've missed. I wasted a torch. <clears throat> Alright. I, I believe it's time to smash all the mirrors. All right, uh, what do you want, Captain? Door number one, door number two, or door number three? Do door number one. One. As soon as you break the mirror, shards of glass fly through the air and slice into your body. Blood pours from your wounds and your body slumps to the floor. Fuck. Delicious. Delicious awful death. <laughs> Do Doomled says door three, so I guess we're doing that next. You have opened a magical portal into deep space and are immediately sucked through. Yes. The lack of air causes you to quickly lose consciousness. The Grim Reaper quickly embraces you. Now, I want to keep in mind, you know, fuck, okay, we're dead. We're dead, our consciousness is gone, we've, we've gone, you just, you know, you just rot in the grave, there's nothing there, right? But, also, everybody and everything that walks into that room now, and possibly some things in the next room, like the banshee, the slime, the coffins, the bones, <laughs> are all getting sucked into that mirror room. <laughs> Alright, so none of those work. Yeah. We've caused that wizard quite a bit of trouble now. <laughs> yeah, I might be dead, but boy did I fuck that warlock good. Uh, bellowing like the Nor some Norse god, you know, just like Freya. You smash through the, ham the hammer through the mirror. You shatter the mirror, revealing an iron go uh, an iron door. All right, let's open it. But for some reason, these shards of glass don't kill you. Eh. So, so the door's locked. But the clue is that it's made out of iron, and we have a brass key. That's right. They're both made of metal. <laughs> Click the key worked and unlock the door. <laughs> That's how we got the moon got oh got the moon Vikings. You know that kind of makes sense. <laughs> the ship was sucked through the door. 